Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning May 10th, 2021. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. This will be going up right before Mother's Day, so there you go. Happy Mother's Day. All right, so for this week, we are still breaking down what we've been trained to think. And I think there are going to be some interesting developments and on an individual level, what this is going to look like will be subtle but sudden revelations. All right, so what are we talking about here? We're talking about suddenly going, oh, I had this part in that moment, or, oh, I've kind of made someone out to be a hero and felt so bad for them, but wait a minute, there was manipulation going on there and you're catching on to it. All right, so what is that coming from? We have Archangel Metatron in here quite heavily and I'm going to be doing a video on Akashic Records and uh, I will hopefully get that up in the next week or so. We'll just see what the schedule is like. And having said that, (laughs) I am getting caught up on personal reading so if you would like to get yours, now is the time to do it. AngelSouls444.com and if you haven't done the Archangel Michael 7 Day Meditation Challenge, head on over to gumroad.com slash angelsouls and get a hold of that. I also have an Archangel Michael meditation here on my YouTube channel. So it's important to do that because clearing brings clarity, all right? And we are in that space now where we need to be of a clear and sound mind for what is about to come. So we're going to, on a like a global level, we're going to be seeing or realizing, let's say, realizing all of the mind control mechanisms. I'm just hearing reversals. Things are not as they seem. There could be some shocking news coming out. There could be some shocking confessions. Yes, confessions. So we're going to have to keep an eye on what that means. But really, as always, we need to be working on our spiritual selves, taking care of, they're saying unlocking the grid. So this would be, I'm assuming your own personal thought grid, (laughs) unlocking and uh, freeing your energy up here a little bit. So if you are a part of a group, let's say, or you work at a company and there's just this group mentality, you're lucky to be here. I've used this uh, example before. Uh, You're lucky to be here, therefore you should just keep your head down and continue to take whatever you've been getting served, right? You don't speak up, you don't question things, you just keep on keeping on. And you're going to wake up to this. There's going to be, There's something around Wednesday. I don't know why. (laughs) They don't usually get that specific with days, but watch around Wednesday. Come on back here and comment. Let us know if you care to, uh, what has been happening. So some deep, they just keep saying some deep knowledge coming out. I'm laughing because it's just like, it was right there in front of us all along. And it's just a sudden like, that's what it is? Okay, kind of thing. So again, that's on an individual level and out in the world. So we'll have to see what sort of events pop up. And uh, people might be angry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think people are going to be angry. So that's why it's imperative that you be taking care of yourselves and why even if you just want to do the free meditation on YouTube here on my channel, the Archangel Michael meditation, be doing that. Be doing that every single day. That way, when things are coming out and shocking us and, you know, setting us off, maybe we can regroup faster, come together faster. Don't forget what we're all here to do. We have to take care of the light within us. We have to be doing our own work. And that's what I'm saying about the grid, whatever your thought grid is, whatever your thought patterns are, right? We have to be healing that so that we are prepared to step up when the time comes. And when I mean by stepping up is stepping up and maintaining the peace, spreading love, making sure there's good energy going out there, protecting those who need protected, helping those who maybe don't feel like they have a voice, this sort of thing. All right. So onto the cards here. There's one sticking out. It's time to release negativity. See full moon in Scorpio. Scorpio is all about transformation and the full moon Things are getting revealed, all right? This is what we're talking about. So we see the truth of something 
you can't depend, you can't depend on the people who have spread the lies to tell the truth. Right? So I, this whole idea of one day, the powers that be are going to come out and confess everything. Eh, I mean, maybe, but it's going to be somebody who used to be one of the powers that be that got out of it and is now going, hey guys, you need to be ready for this kind of thing, right? So I don't know what that's going to look like exactly, but for us as individuals, we can't be getting hung up on personal stories. And I get it, guys. I mean, I have a life too. I have people in my life. There are ins and outs and curiosities. <laughs> Can I say that? About curiosities about dynamics and what is this pull on my energy and, you know, feeling exhausted and all of that. So the way to regenerate is when things become apparent to us, that's a gift. That is showing us what we need to come through. So be sure to allow this transformational energy to occur for yourself and to help it along in the collective by taking care of yourself, yes? So when something does come up that you have to look at, try not to avoid. Make sure you always, as I always say, make sure you have proper support as you go about that. All right, what else do we have here? <sighs> yeah, all right. So there might be a moment of a calm before the storm. Okay, so there might be something around natural disasters as well. That's always a possibility. That's not anything new. The reason why I'm sitting with this for a second, I'm like, okay, yeah, we know that, but I do keep seeing volcanoes. Um, but again, that could be metaphorical, eruptions. Okay, so there's going to be a mentality where people think they need to sacrifice themselves. Like, I will be the one to come out and say this and I will sacrifice myself. Or I'll be the one to go out ahead of the trend or what have you and I will pioneer my way for change. But the message here is that that's not what needs to be done. You do not need to sacrifice yourself. As a matter of fact, you are working against your soul's path when you're doing that because you're lowering your frequency. We need you to be happy. We need you to be in peace. We need all of us to be having a healthy connection with one another. If you didn't know, like you've been on the job for a while now. <laughs> all right? So don't take a break at this moment. It's not time for that. All right. So now we have believe in the impossible blue moon. I'm telling you, there is some information that could be coming out or there could be you know, something in your personal life that just comes out of the blue. Like, what? Like, and of course, the same once in a blue moon. It's so rare, right? So something you thought was impossible, I'm hearing resurrected. Something you thought was dead and gone and done, dead and done, has been resurrected. For some of you, this might bring some healing. For others, this might open up old wounds. And really the way through is to release the negativity around that. Remember the full moon in Scorpio. So there's no hiding anymore. So for some of you, again, this might be a good thing, <laughs> but for others, it could be, you know, again, make sure you have proper support. Believe in the impossible. That feels like... <laughs> that... Uh... We already know what that is. We're, we're all in the know. We already know what that is. We have to stand strong with one another. And again, it's not going to be some giant to do with like balloons falling from the ceiling and confetti and dancing girls. I mean, no, it's not going to be that. It's, it's sort of, it gets dropped and then someone crawls away. It's like, here's the info. I got to get out of here. But more were the messengers. So the knowing gets activated in us. Did I say it already? It's really important for us to be working on our spiritual selves and our electromagnetic field, our light body, you know, all the different layers of us. We need to be in alignment with ourselves. We are going to be the vehicles of peace. We are going to be the vehicles and the mediums of information. But if our egos are in the way, we're going to mess it up. People have been messing it up for hundreds of years. <laughs> Right? So people would get a little bit of a message. Maybe it gets misinterpreted. 
or it gets misused, the information. This is the weirdest week. What the heck does Nikola Tesla have to do with this? Now, if you guys don't know, I live in Colorado Springs and Nikola Tesla used to have a lab here. Actually, I think it's just downtown. And he used to conduct his experiments from here. Uh, and I just suddenly felt and heard that name, uh, saw his face. <laughs> 369, y'all. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Something electrical, electricity, the unknown. The, un, the unsung geniuses being seen. This better be good, okay? Because I don't know about y'all, but I am bored with how things have been going. I'm <laughs> just so bored of it. Oh, my, my. All right, so we have the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. This is communication of the hidden. Are you guys seeing this? Okay, so this is duplicitous too like they we're seeing where we've been duped where there have been two faces where what is the real information the communication is coming but it's not don't be looking out there for the truth you need to clear your vessel so that you're you're what the truth comes through you're the channel of the truth all right and when you get it don't try to be the first one on instagram going i figured it out i win because <laughs> there is no winning all right as a matter of fact the more competitive you try to be the less you are doing your job it's about cooperation and we're all supposed to be coming together and take that bit of information that bit of understanding and flow it out there don't judge others if they don't get it don't try to force the information on other people so the answers you need are coming this could also be on a personal level if you've been struggling with you know, a lot of people are struggling with career right now. Uh, love partnerships have been rocky and people have been sort of in a joking way, joking, not joking way, say that it was because of everything that happened in 2020. Everybody had to spend a lot of time with one another. And I don't think that's what it is. I think a lot of people started to shift and grow. And one of the manipulations that has put, been put upon us is that you have to have a partner and you don't have to be that picky <laughs> about the partner or you know let's take you know depends on who raised you I suppose but I know I grew up around some people who it was just like it was just important just to have anybody like a partner that you kind of get along with so you can hurry up as soon as possible and start a family in other parts of the United States here it's all about status and it's all about, you know, you, how can you make the family look good by marrying this person? So I think now we are starting to shift a little bit and people realize that that is not fulfilling or having to look a certain way to other people. That is no longer fulfilling. And now everybody's in a scramble going, who am I? What am I supposed to be doing? How can I show up? So it's a sign of growth and it's not a negative thing entirely. Okay. So just bear that in mind. That's why we have to be, we have to be working on expanding our consciousness, our awareness. All right. <laughs> Cards are flying everywhere. I got you. Okay, so here we go. We have silver, be persistent. The number is 27, nine. We're coming to the end of a cycle here. And watermelon, have fun with your inner child. The number is three. So we're being very guided. It's all about wisdom, figuring things out, carrying ahead, don't get scared. And yet there's a freeing feeling around this. So this has this feeling too of like your hard work has paid off. You've been persistent. And this to me says, stay focused. Doesn't this look like your tinfoil hat? <laughs> Just saying. Uh, so you, you held strong with your beliefs. You might have realized, okay, there was some tweaking to that. I maybe didn't have it 100%, but that's okay. And then we have this watermelon card, which reminds me of summer, being carefree, uh, being able to release, and something with the inner child being healed. So there's a little more integration of the higher self coming into the 3D self. So there's a major, major moment of growth going on here. We're gonna realize that we were close, but not quite. 
and that's okay. We're getting the answers we've wanted. Again, it may not look the way that we think. <laughs> it's not going to look the way we think, and we need to be taking care of ourselves because we are going to be asked to, as I said before, be the carriers of light, be the carriers of those messages, and not in a way where we're putting ourselves above others, but where we're working with each other to help raise the consciousness and the frequency of this planet. It's always been our job, and now we need to take it a little more seriously. All right, so we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Thank you.